In this video, traders, we're going to look at five ways to trade a trend line or a channel. Stay tuned. Hey, traders, one welcome to you. All right, so pretty common chart pattern out there is this, right? It's the channel or the trend line. Now, recognize that this is a little bit oversimplified, but good for an example. This can be on a daily chart, a weekly chart, a 15 minute, one minute, yeah, it starts to get a little bit noisy, but those sort of higher time frames, it's much cleaner. And you tend to find, even though obviously the points from here to here are all smooth lines, and obviously we've got candlesticks, that might be kind of a couple of weeks worth of trade on a daily. It might be five or six bars on a 15 minute, you get the point. But generally, it's actually sometimes quite surprising to see how clean these charts are. Very often with chart packages as well, they have the ability to draw one of these trend lines and the channel is literally just a parallel line to that trend line. And very often it meets up very nicely with the highs and lows because these rotations and moves drives higher are often symmetrical, which gives you this kind of pattern. So there's a few ways that we can trade this and it's a good, useful kind of tool if you like, because it frames the whole market. And if you guys have watched the channel before, and by the way, if you haven't, you're a subscriber, I much appreciate your support. You recognize that I'm always on about, you know, bring the frame in, bring the boundaries in, frame what you're doing so that you've got some structure to work with them. It's why this is so nice and why, you know, even, even if you don't use it specifically and trade it standalone with these things, you can maybe use it as part of a filter that then says, okay, we're in the trend. Now, what are my setups? What's my setup? What's my trick? But that's the key, guys. It's using this structure and going, right, what's happening? How can I work out the best course of action? So first one, let's get on with it. First one is mean reversion extremes. Pretty self-explanatory, but you know what we're looking for here, guys. We're looking for buying at the, at the lows and selling at the highs. Buying at the lows, selling at the highs. Now, I recognize I'm not one of the guys who stand here and goes, yeah, look, it's a trend line. It's very easy. You just put all your full net worth there, close it there, go short, then, and you make 10 times your money and you retire very happy. I get it. It's not like that, is it? But what we can do is we can, there's a couple of things we can do. If we assume that this trend line is going to continue until it breaks, so let's, you know, give it the credit until it doesn't, we're going to have a start doing stuff like we'll have a, we can have a midpoint here which we can use as our mean, because don't forget this is a mean reversion. It doesn't necessarily mean going from one end to the other, especially if you're going short. Just a little trick, guys. If you've got an up-sloping trend line, shorts are fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with snatching a short opportunity, but looking for it to go all the way to the bottom sometimes isn't the right thing to do. Sometimes you've got to be a little bit less greedy with the short because you're going against the grain, you're going against a longer term trend. So having a midpoint or sticking something like a moving average on means that you've kind of given yourself a mean, that could be the mean, but you've not expected it to overshoot the mean. If a mean was the midpoint or a moving average, which will probably run in the middle of that trend line, that could be your mean. However, if you're fading or doing mean reversion extremes, you're going along at this level, then by all means, look for an extension to the upside because you're trading with the trend. So you can see the difference trading against the trend, we're looking for that little snatch back to the mean, trading against the trend, we can start to look to buy these extremes and it tests the trend line for a push back up to the upper trend line. So with that being said, the aligning itself with the buy side generally going to be more powerful. So that's the first thing, mean reversion extremes, buying at the lower of the trend line, selling at the top of the trend line uh, or the channel. Number two, trade in the direction of the slope. So you can just use it, as I alluded to at the beginning, as a filter. So we're not looking to initiate a trade per se. So let's, but let's say this is on a higher time frame, right? On a higher time frame, daily chart, we're sitting here, that's what we're doing in a daily, we're in this trend, and we're starting to chug up at this point here. Let's imagine that we're here now, get ourselves a little bit of room to breathe. And then you're trading intraday. So you're trading intraday, you see, let's say, a bottoming pattern intraday, I don't know, some sort of, um, uh, double bottom or something very similar that some sort of uh, bullish engulfing at lows, pin bar, that kind of stuff. You imagine you see that intraday, so you're like, okay, well, I will take that because that's in line with my broader thesis of I'm trading in the direction of the slope. So it might say, hey, I'm only going to trade longs a, in the direction of the slope, which could be one criteria, or I'm only going to trade longs in the direction of the slope and if we've come off that lower 
trend line. So in this sort of phase here, this phase here, this phase here, rather than if we're in a downtrend phase here. So you're aligning yourself with the bigger picture. And you could, I suppose you get extra aggressive as well. There's no harm in it, but just being aware of the bigger picture of saying, right, well, we're coming off that high here. I'm gonna align myself with the short because I think we've come back to at least the mean. But be careful, you just be careful with those shorts. Be quick, get out of it. Don't overstay your welcome. If at all do it, you might even choose to do it. Uh, and just be careful, especially if you're on the lower channel part of the channel, because it feels like a little, sometimes it won't quite touch it, and you'll feel a little bit like you're a bit late to the party, and you know, unless it's looking heavy elsewhere, or you come up to a big resistance level, you gotta be a little cautious of that one. All right, guys, number three, use an oscillator. RSI, stochastic, great tool to use in a trend line, because when you get that combined kind of oversold condition at the lower end of the trend line, and it starts to curl back up off that oversold reading. So stochastic normally people have said about 30, coming off that 30 reading and it comes off there. Then you've got a couple of things that can say, right, I wanna, I wanna get involved in it. Uh, and if you're getting you know, oversold, oversold and it's not quite turning, maybe you wanna wait a little bit until it starts to curl. Maybe not necessarily coming off oversold, but just that cross of the fast stochastic, if we're talking about stochastic from the slow line, giving yourself a little bit of room, because sometimes, you know, this looks very nice and neat, doesn't it? But let's be honest, that could be a day where it closes underneath it and it looks pretty grubby, but you know, it's just really starting to just to curl around. And it might be the second day after that gives the buy intraday that gives you a nice edge to be able to hold that for a few day trade. So oscillate to RSI, uh, stochastic CCI, something like that works quite nicely uh, in conjunction with this. Number four, wait for a break. I'm gonna do another video separately on that because that deserves its own um, kind of dedicated video, but waiting for a break. So, you know, if you're a volatility expansion type trader, then maybe this doesn't suit you. Maybe you want to wait until you see it break in one direction. You know, we won't, I won't jump the gun here, but that possibly is something that suits you better. You know, if you're that type of trader, like, listen, this is fine, but I wanna see some volume. I wanna see some other bits and pieces. So, you know, make sure you are subscribed guys for that next one, because that'll be uploaded soon. Um, Number five is a tr fade the false breakouts. This is probably my preferred way, uh, if I'm honest, uh, if I try it along with trading in direction of the slope. I like these false breakouts because very often, especially on a daily chart, you'll get a fade to the downside. Uh, let's imagine this looks like this. So you're gonna get your kind of bars here, comes to the downside. Uh, you might then get a long bar that goes through and then comes back up and kind of closes like this. And the trend line is running like this. That's nice because it allows you to frame the trade a little bit better. You can start to put your stop under that low there. You can, if you're a swing trader, you can take it on the close there. You've got quantified risk. Trend line's still reasonably valid. It's done a little bit of work down there, but it's kind of got shy and pulled back again. And then you can look for that extended move up. If you want to just take it off at the mean, midpoint, fine. Scale some off there, fine. If you want to kind of ride it, look for an extension to the top, fine. If you want to be extra aggressive and think this time is going to break, you might want to say, well, let's just see how it performs. If it suddenly sort of opens on the f like day four here, for example, and then just rips at the open and manages to hold, you might be like, well, hang on, hang on. let's not be too hasty with this. We could be uh, running here. But anyway, I'll save that for the other video, guys, because that is quite a useful thing waiting for the break. So. Those are five ways to trade a trend line or a channel. If you find this stuff useful, thumb up is much appreciated. Comments in the comment section below. Always interested to hear your opinion on this kind of stuff. Do you trade trend lines? Do you trade channels? Not interested. Take care. See you next one. Bye-bye.